Hey there, uh, my name's Rhonda Fox. My son and his girlfriend were a guest at your hotel last night and he parked his car out in the front with the valet. And when he came out this morning to get his car, all right, good morning guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna get right into this. I am at the Hilton in downtown San Diego. You guys saw yesterday's vlog. Taylor rented a hotel room so we could film something up here. And we're like, you know what, why not stay here? And then we went home and then we're like, let's take the GTR back. And then we ended up valeting it. Blah, 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 blah. And then we get here and they said, oh, $40 and we'll park it up front and we'll keep it outside. I'm like, cool, that sounds great, whatever. It's like a normal valet hotel, whatever, cool. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at all this dirt. Look at all of this dirt. This thing is covered in dirt. My entire car. That's absolutely filthy. And I go over there to ask. I was like, yo, like, what happened to my car? It was completely clean. And they're like, oh, you know what happened? They had, we had power washers here last night cleaning the streets or like cleaning all this stuff because this is the only car out here. Like, this is literally the only car that was parked out here all night. Now I have to go spend money to detail it or I have to go clean it my complete self. Like, the whole outside. If you guys are in San Diego or you ever come to San Diego and you want to come to this Hyatt, if you have any sort of expensive car, don't bring it. Don't let them valet it at least. I don't know, I'm kind of mad. I want to start this vlog, but that's not cool. you, dude. I wanted to get out and talk to them. Like, they wouldn't even do anything about it. Now I have to go spend money to detail it or I'm gonna go detail it myself. Like, I'm gonna go clean. I'm, I'm gonna go clean the outside. You it's have disgusting. To. It's covered in dirt. To. I know it's a small problem and I'm not trying to like make a d big deal out of something small, but like, if they're not gonna compensate me, then I'm gonna vlog about it and call them out on it. I could probably go complain more, but I'm not even gonna. It's, it's more fun to vlog it and tell you guys what happened. So yeah, here we are. I never valet my car and I did for the first time and it's covered in dirt. A little bit and then brought it back. You know? Yeah, it's all good. The power of vlogging, bro. I filmed a little bit of that. I tried to my best. You always see stuff like that on Facebook of like people calling companies out. So, anyways, I think they saw me vlogging, and then he just walked over here. He was super nice. Like he was like genuinely. He wasn't here for the event, so it's like not his fault. Anyways, he saw me vlogging, came over and apologized. Like it wasn't these guys' fault. I'm not blaming it on the people. It's just like bad. It's just bad business. He's gonna come over here. Hopefully, talk to me. I guess we'll see if we can get a free voucher. Wow, what a morning, guys. I wasn't even expecting to start today's vlog. I don't know, it was just bad luck. Like, I'm not, I know I sound like I'm about such a small problem, but it was vlog content, and it just, like, come on, man. Like, it's it's a GTR, it's Guaxilla, and they're gonna get her all dirty like that. Am I right or am I right? They were really cool about it. I'm upset And they're actually gonna charge back what it cost me to valet to Taylor's card. So then I can just go to my personal person and go get it detailed myself. Anyways, we're leaving this hotel now. That was the, the beginning of this video. Man! Still, Man. It's, it's still dirty though. I have to take the SD wrap now. Anyways, we're probably gonna get out of this valet now so they stop looking at me vlogged. <laughs> we're out guys, we out. We're going to Dunkin' Donuts, freak y'all. Taylor said that when I got out of the car to start filming all the dirt on the, like, the car, that the valet workers like actually started thinking about it and like started like doing something. Cause I was like went up there and I was like super nice. I was just like, yo, like is there anything you can do? And they said no. And I was like, you know what, whatever. It's not even worth my time. And I was like, I can, I can vlog this stuff. Then they started taking me seriously. I don't know what they would have assumed. I'm still a little tiny blonde kid with a camera. Like I said, they credited back to our room, but like it seems like they only cared when they thought that they were gonna like get in trouble for it. Anyways, uh, GTR is good. We're gonna go get some coffee. Look at this, oh my god. It's even worse right here. Look at it, guys, this is all dirt from the road. This car obviously means like the world to me and they couldn't even take care of it. Oh my god. This is a valet horror story. Anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining about it. Can't cry over spilt milk even though I just talked about it for four minutes. So don't hate me for that clip. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let's start the day with a smile on our face. Sorry for starting today's vlog with negativity. I feel like I kind of started that with like a little anger and like what the f but you know what, we're gonna reverse it, am I right? Yes. We're gonna have good attitude. Good attitude today, right, am I guys? Wait, what did I say? I said good attitude, right, am I guys? Anyways. Oh man, they're making me do it, guys. You are not technically supposed to wash your car with like a power washer if you have a vinyl wrap. You know what, I don't really wanna wipe it down and it's really dirty, so we're just gonna do it. So hate me if you want. Hell yeah, rinse it off, you know what I'm saying? Oh, 
Yeah, get her all soaped up, ready to go. That's it, that's it. Right, I'm gonna catch you guys when I'm done with this because I can't do two things at once. Man, that was a mission, but we successfully did it, guys. Kylie's all clean again. I feel like I haven't vlogged with Kylie in so long. I mean, I'm sure I filmed her in my garage a few times, but I've been driving the FRS lately so much, and after ordering the turbo kit yesterday, I am so excited to have that car back. But I'm glad this one's all clean again. Update on earlier situation, guys. I told my mom what happened, and she thought that I was not overreacting, and she thought that, like, we should call them and call them out for it, because it is an expensive car. She told me to vlog this. Did you already talk to them? Just the receptionist. So what, who, who are you gonna talk to now? The, ho the hotel manager. Hey there, uh, my name's Rhonda Fox. My son and his girlfriend were a guest at your hotel last night, and he parked his car out in the front with the valet. And when he came out this morning to get his car, uh, apparently they power washed the whole front of the hotel, and his whole car was covered in dirt. And is he available? Is he available? I can, let me, let me get him. Hang on one sec. Hello? You are Mr. Fox, first name? Tanner, yeah. Tanner Fox? Yeah. Okay, and you were here at the hotel? Yeah, me and my girlfriend and, were there last night. And your car, what type of car is it? A Nissan GTR. It's wrapped like a color shift green. It's mm -hmm. like super loud. When you picked it up, um, did you notice the dirt was on it? Yeah, there was a lot. I, I walked out and no one said anything to me. No one warned me that there was power washing or no one even, like all the valet workers knew that it was dirty. And uh, I got my car and then I walked back up and asked them what had happened and they basically told me, I filmed the whole thing too, like I have clips of the car and how dirty it was. After they saw that I was filming it, they only then offered to refund my money for the valet. So you just valet parked the car? Yeah, and when I got there, it was parked right in the front, like up front in the hotel. All right, and did you speak to a um, parking manager yet? Um, no, I only spoke to one of the valet workers. Write my number down um, or and take my email address, and if you can send me whatever you have, I will go ahead and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm not trying to blow this out of proportion. Like, I'm not one to cause an issue out of something that I don't think is a huge deal, but I guess when you, like, sit down and think about it, it was kind of effed up. My mom did make a really good point, though, on the phone to the guy in there. If it were, like, a 40-year-old business guy in his Ferrari, the situation would have been handled a lot differently. The people didn't even tell me my car had gotten dirty. They just gave me the keys and hoped I didn't say anything. And I almost didn't and then Taylor kind of pushed me to like go say something so then I did uh, but you know I'm not one to like normally make a big problem out of something that like isn't that big of a deal like it can get fixed it's just a car that's like my whole mentality it was uh, a little disrespectful how they handled it again I didn't film the whole initial conversation or anything my mom's on the phone right now and I think they're just gonna reimburse me for having to go clean my car I, I guess that's all you can ask for I'm not really complaining but I think this is finally the end of that situation. All right, now that that is taken care of, there's something that I do want to bring to your guys' attention. So if you've been seeing all the little edits in my vlogs recently, I absolutely love making those. And if you've noticed, the music is absolutely on fleek. I wanna give a massive shout out to my boy, Dylan Matthew. He helped me produce We Do It Best, uh, noise complaints, and pretty much anything else music related that I have done. I have been using his entire new EP that just dropped five days ago. Guys, if you wanna check out these songs, they're absolutely fire. I'm gonna play a snippet of each one I don't know how many are in the actual EP so I'm gonna cut to that right now and you guys get a little taste of that and if you like them they are available on iTunes Spotify all that good stuff so once again thank you Dylan for letting me use your music bro I really appreciate it I love having it in my videos and I know you guys love listening to it so I want to give you credit thank you uh, check out his music right now That was a little snippet of each song. If you guys want to download them once again, um, massive shout out to Dylan. Thank you for letting me use your music, bro. So I don't get copyrighted. It's actually a huge help. Anyways, back on with the day. No more negativity, guys. I'm positive, I promise. All right, so quick pit stop at SD Wrap right now. And look at this Tesla, guys. He's adding wheels to it. And I just saw FaZe Rugg's car. He just, I just got a little sneak peek on FaZe Rugg's car. Just saying. Yeah. Just saying, Rugg. If you're watching this, I saw your car. It's a really good camo. I love yeah, it. It's, it's a really camo good. on it. 
it's like different, you know? It's a really good solid camo. Brian, yeah. if you're watching this, your car looks dope. Can't wait to see it when Love it's done. It. But other than that, we're just walking around. I feel like I kind of always come here to just like hang out. And then this is the second 911R I have ever seen. Ramin, explain what a 911R is and why is it important? It's uh, basically the last manual, or was supposed to be the last manual Porsche. It's the same as the GT3 RS without the wild spoiler, but it's way more rare. Instead it's of putting a GT3 RS on the back of it, they put a 911R on it. So this is like a super rare car. What is this? Did you guys do that? This is a new SD wrap car. We killed it on this one. Wait, is this it's paint? Portraits of Medi. Is this wrap or paint? It's paint. It's hand Oh wrap. no, are you are you wrapping over that? Yeah. This guy went in. Oh no! <laughs> what is this? Why do you guys have so many SUVs here? I don't know. Look I'm at these. So look cool at these. Look, there's more in there. Every time I come here, I mean, you always give me like a tour of everything in here. I love it. It's because I'm just as excited. You guys know that. what kind of Aston Martin this is? I think it's a Vanquish. I don't even know Aston Martin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say a DB11. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Those are the two that models I know. I know. That's but, it. but I don't know what they look like. I just know the names of them. Tucker, I missed you so much. Dude, Tucker's been through it all. He was yeah. there when we unveiled the FRS, the GTR. I feel like Tucker's been here for every car reveal. You're Tucker a very famous dog. Walk. Hey, Tucker, if you blow in his face, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, every time I come here, me and Ramin get up to something, and we were just talking about wrapping the T Fox brand, like, what is it, a sprinter? The T Fox brand sprinter that Jessica has. She's still got to come down here and kind of approve on the color, but we're gonna, we, we've been talking about it a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Rug, if you don't answer, I'm leaking your car. I'm gonna do it. It's right behind me. Yo. Yo, he really wants his car to get leaked right now. <laughs> he really wants his car to get leaked right now. All right, I'm gonna try to film this clip before this light turns green. I was supposed to go to Temecula, hit traffic, was like, nah, not doing that. So I came to SC Raps and hi to the boys. And now I'm going back to my house. So I gotta hurry though, because the light's gonna turn green, Eddie. Um, and bro. I'm really annoying when I vlog. I just realized that, guys. I'm sorry. I really, like, genuinely appreciate you watching me every day if you come back here every day. Or if you've clicked on any of my videos, like, I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you. I love you all so much. Thank you for sharing my life with me. And I'm just speaking gibberish and I need to drive. What's up guys? So I have to whisper as best as I can. Alright, if you guys saw two vlogs ago, we were filming a really big movie. It was for a music video for Taylor. And basically Dustin pulled through because he was like super hyped on it and edited it overnight. Taylor doesn't think she's gonna see it until Sunday. Today is Friday. No, today's Thursday. Anyways, Dustin's on his way over right now so he can show me and Taylor the music video and uh, I'm gonna get her reaction. I obviously can't show it to you guys because it's not out yet. All right, so we're at the dinner table right now and we were just talking about Taylor's music video. I didn't even yeah. ever tell you guys we're filming this video. When can we see it? When can oh, you and I see it? I wanna, I, we I'm- We can see it Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, but- Let's say Thursday? Yeah. And then when it'll be out? It's gonna be out Tuesday. Or we could see the music video right now. What? Mind blown. Are you serious? Yeah, he Mind finished blown. it. We set this up, Taylor. What? I've been hyping it up all day, Mind bro. Mind blown. Here he I has it done, and we get to watch it right now. She thought I was like oh cheating on God, her or something because I was on the phone with him, and she's like, what are you, "Who are you talking to?" And I was like, "Oh no, no, no!" I was being super sketchy. But it was, uh, anyways, Dustin, dude, you have no idea. All right, so he's gonna pull out the computer, oh and we are gonna watch the oh video because I'm so excited to see it. Well, 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 Kirby, what did you think of the video, guys? What did you guys think about the video? What do you think oh about the video? God. What do you think about the video? I can't believe you wrote the words. Like you. My mom is so baffled on the fact that Taylor wrote the words. What's my mom's name? Miss Rhonda. <laughs> Why do you say Miss Rhonda? That's, that's how you, that's how you address play. adults. You just spelled Miss. Excuse Miss me, Miss Dustin. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Dustin, is it okay if I film you? What are you doing, bro? You gonna date my sister or what? Oh. <laughs> Vlog? It's in the vlog. I'd say hopefully. <laughs> my mom. Ma okay, guys, this is a super weird conversation to first be having all, on the vlog. First of all, first of all, let's talk about my shirt. Let's talk about it. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where can they find a shirt like that? Tfoxbrand.com. Or the link is in the description, mom. No, of course. Link a bio. Link a bio. Link a bio. <laughs> all right, guys, that is gonna end off today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up. Do not forget to check out the new tattoo merch. It is out for about three, two or three more weeks. And if you buy anything, you're entered in the giveaway and you get your name tattooed on my friend's leg by myself. That is gonna do it for today's vlog. Peace out. Let's roll the Fox fam. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. Don't forget, merch link in bio. One last thing, roll the outro. I wish you were so